everyone and today we're going to explore the next decimal place over to the right from the tenth spot and that is the hundredth spot so just as a reminder we dealt with this three where this three is and this is called the tenth spot as you might recall from our last video in this video we're going to deal with what's this four and this is called hundredths So I have this grid here and it's divided up into 100 equal squares. And each square we could say is 1 hundredth of the grid. So 7 hundredths of this grid are currently red. So in other words, one hole being this whole grid and it's divided up into 100 pieces. So we could say one out of 100 or 1 hundredth is each piece. And I have seven colored, so 7 hundredths of the grid are red. And we can write 7 hundredths as a fraction or as a decimal. And so here we have a decimal here, and it's the same as zero and seven hundredths. And so this first zero right here is telling us that there's no whole parts. Nothing, if this whole, this whole grid was colored in red, then, then this would be a one, but in other words, it's not. Now, the other two decimals are telling us out of a hundred, because this place, the seven being a hundredth, it shows, um, seven hundredths are colored now the tenth spot is a zero right now because there is no tenths we haven't got to a tenth yet we need if we got to a tenth uh, i'd have to color in maybe these three guys that would get us a tenth because we don't have a tenth yet ten aren't colored we we have uh zero tenths but seven hundredths now on this grid here i have 91 hundredths um being blue and we can write it as a fraction i'm going to rewrite it for you 90 one hundredths or we can say it is 91 hundredths and you notice the word hundredths i use here i also use it here because this one ends on the hundredth spot so we would say 91 hundredths now we could also use a place value chart to show a decimal with hundredths and i have two here i can say for the first one we have zero and nine hundredths and for the second one i could say we have zero and sixty hundredths um, I don't really mind if you, I personally don't mind anyway, if you just say 9 hundredths for the first one and 60 hundredths for the second one. Um, but I guess properly it would be 0 and. And remember from our last video, anytime you see the decimal, we use the word and. Now we could use decimals to write parts of a dollar. And so one, we know one dollar equals a hundred cents. And one cent equals one hundredth of a dollar or one hundredth of a dollar in a decimal form. Now interesting enough, the word cent comes from Latin, but I mean if it's easier we can go to French, cent, which means one hundred. So in a way we're saying, you know, hundred. And there's a hundred cents in a dollar, so that makes sense. So here I have some money here. And I have 47 cents, and if you don't believe me, add it all up. And I do have pennies here, and in Canada we've discontinued that. But um, we have 47 cents, and so we could say that there's 47 cents out of a possible 100 cents. And we can convert that into dollars, and that would be zero dollars, but 47 cents. And that probably looks familiar, because you've probably seen it at the grocery store or any store, you know, how much things are. I'd like you to try a couple here. I'd like you to write each here, uh, each grid as a fraction and as a decimal to describe the colored part of the picture. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, for this first one, I have two whole rolls of 10 highlighted with uh, five in the other. So I have 25 out of 100, 25 hundredths. And if I change that into a decimal, I can say zero and 25 hundredths. And remember, this is the hundredth spot. That's where it ends. So I would pronounce that hundredths. On the other grid, I have four out of a hundred, four hundredths, and I would write it as zero and four hundredths. And again, it's not 0 0.4, 0, you know, four tenths, because there is no tenths here. That's why it's a zero. And the four has to end in the hundredth spot, so we can say hundredths. I'm going to try some more here. I'd like you to write 
each as a fraction and as a decimal again. This time you're taking it from words and changing it over. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so I have 14 hundredths, 14 hundredths as a fraction, and 14 hundredths as a decimal. I have 8 hundredths as a fraction, and I have 8 hundredths as a decimal. Remember, that's the hundredth spot. It's no tenths. And then lastly, 81 hundredths as a fraction, and 81 hundredths as a decimal. All right, last one here. I have some money, and I'd like you to change this into dollars. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, for the first one on the left here, I have 25 cents plus 10 cents is 35 cents, plus the 5 cents is 40, plus the 1. So I have 41 cents out of a possible 100 to make a dollar, and the decimal would be... 41 cents. That's right, right? No, it's not right. We need to write the units. 41 cents. Um, on the second one, I have 2 cents out of a possible 100, and I would change that into 2 cents. All right, there you have it, guys. This is exploring hundreds. We're trying to see another decimal place here. We've looked at a few applications, but in a sense, we're saying things are out of a hundred and you can use real life examples like money uh, as a way of showing hundreds so please remember in life math happens take care